me or skin them alive! A beautiful day for battle. Fear not, Excellency. We're out of range of their arbalists. I am no warrior, sir. I must admit, I prefer to joust verbally or with a pen, the emissary of peace that I am. Hogwash! You're the emissary of the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes, the Emperor of Nilfgaard, who spared no blood conquering over a dozen sovereign realms. Thus bringing them laws, culture, and peace above all. Finally! Traitors of the realm boil tar on the walls while you dally with the royal advisor. How may I assist you, sire? We mount an assault today, and you'll be at my side. Follow me, gentlemen. Let's not keep the traitors waiting. Sire, you said we were out of range. That was a ballista, Excellency. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. A deadly and very costly weapon. An experienced crew can cock and release two bolts each minute. Yet it has one flaw. Your Grace, please take cover. The recoil of the arms is so strong upon firing that the weapon shifts. It simply cannot hit the same spot twice. I had no idea your grace was a learned military engineer. I'm not. I gave the Baroness those ballistae two years ago for her birthday. Sire. What say you, Excellency, of men who live in spite of sacraments? And what say you, your grace, of soldiers who inflict them? Those who did this live no more. Master Geralt, I wish to converse with you once the storm of battle has subsided. Forgive me, Excellency, but I plan to leave the Royal Court as soon as possible. Might I know why? Too often they take me for someone I'm not. What do they call you, soldier? Wait. You served with me at Brenneran during our foray into the Pontar Valley. Norman Sadel. Still an arbalist? Yes, sir. Fight has not been kind to me. Ha! <laughs> Norman Sador, for your years of faithful service to the Crown, I appoint you Decurion of the Arbalists. Onwards, gentlemen. No reason to dawdle. Forgive my candor, Your Majesty, but uh, I must ask, what fate awaits the royal bastards when... Uh, they're my children. If I hear bastard one more time, someone will die. Painfully. Your Grace, forgive me. But the laws of succession are irrefutably clear. Piss on the laws. I'll change them if need be. Above all, I'll not allow a band of treacherous barons to use my children as their banner. The Majesty is entirely within his rights. Thanks to Geralt of Riddle, my daughter Ada is alive, and is now the wife of Radovid of Redania. I see. I fear you do not, Excellency. The midget king merely awaits my demise. I am certain King Radovid of Redania wishes Your Majesty a long and healthy life. That wasn't even a Excellency. The old families will never accept a Redanian on my throne. Ada will have to contend herself with Redania. I understand. The issue of succession remains unresolved. Your Grace, I request your permission to return. You have it. Black ones in my camp for a battle. What has the world come to? Nothing would make me happier than returning his shriveled head to Emir in a sack. But Triss Merigold insisted I be patient and courteous. Was I? Not really. I actually saw His Excellency sweat. But that'll be interesting. Ha! You 
brought your sense of humor along. Have you learned anything about the assassin? Nothing new, sir. A month's passed and we don't know any more than we knew when we began. This investigation's going nowhere. My agents have learned little also. But we'll find the culprits. It's just a question of time. Now, for the battle. I want you at my side today. Then you may go where you please. Thank you, sire. I always knew you were one of us. And bugger what folks say. They talked about Ada no end. Have you learned anything about the assassin? Tris did an autopsy. It's possible he was a witcher. A witcher? What have I ever done to the plowing witchers? Anything more? He had no medallion, but that doesn't mean anything. Many in your shoes would have withheld that information. After the battle, Triss will report to me. For now, let us tend to the traitors. Where are you aiming, imbeciles? Soldier! Spyglass! What is going on up there? The gods! Count at you, very! Catch, Witcher! Aim for the rogue with the red plume. Not six months ago, he swore eternal friendship to me. Quickly! How much higher? Three degrees. Did we hit the bastard? He ducked. Damn it. We'll get him on the walls. Follow me, Witcher. Two and a half degrees. Did we hit the bastard? He ducked. Damn it. We'll get him on the walls. Follow me, Witcher. One and a half degrees. Did we hit the bastard? He's down. Ha! One less traitor. Time to attack. Follow me, Witcher! You know, Witcher, I'm prepared to forgive Louisa. All she need do is to kneel before her king. Very noble of you. Are you mocking me? Never mind. I'm certain Louisa will realize her mistakes. Besides, children should have a mother. I'm lost. It's quite simple. Louisa and I had a bit of a tip. She made demands I could not fulfill. Understand? I think so. Count Echeverry and others immediately intervened, all noble, all sympathetic. They claimed the evil king would take her children, that they would protect them, even place them on the throne. And the Baroness was duped, a motherly love used. 
In truth, they desire privileges that would weaken the throne. When you're plowing for your king, blood and mud, your brow are sweat, balls in a bandage, brick in a sling. That's a swiving soldier's life. Taking orders, smash your bow. Going and country, there your wife. And a long road at your toe. <laughs> Bread and vodka's <laughs> all you'll get! <laughs> Look alive, men! Hail to the king! Where the hell are we headed? To the What the fuck do we want? Victory! This I like! On the bridge! We're nearly there! Weapons at the ready! You shall push for the center aisle and bring down that gate. It's a good day to kill, your majesty. Follow me, gentlemen. For Temeria! Lord Swan, you and your men shall follow me. We must capture or otherwise deal with Arian Lavalette in order to break the defender's morale. Yes, your grace. Geralt, gentlemen, follow me. For the glory! Fall back, goddammit! I forbid you to die like imbeciles! Hear me! They've taken a good position, the bastards! If this persists, they'll pick us off like ducks, and I'm no duck! Any ideas? That ballista would do the trick. And they said we couldn't get near the walls. Half a day and the town is taken. Report! Fighting for the castle continues, and a group of rebels have barricaded themselves inside the monastery. What of my children? Likely in the church as well, sire. Fen took a priest to task, finally mumbled something about a passage neath the walls. It would take a week to get a battering ram in here. Axes, sire. That will also take time. But what other course do we have? This priest. What of him? What of this passage? No, he fainted for I could really get going on him. He's under guard below. You've some work to do, Commander. Yes, sire. Silas, you look to this door. Fen, come with me. Witcher. Your grace. I have a mission for you, one suited to your abilities. Vernon can be persuasive, but he's also hot-tempered, at times losing both his self-control and his subject. You must try to find this other passage on your own. Succeed. And you'll be the envy of all Vizima. Soldiers loyal to the Lavalettes would never harm the Baroness's children. I shall be reassured as to that when I see them, not before. We must act quickly. The rebels are dispersed, 
in disarray. As dim-witted as they are, I fear they could conclude the children would make good hostages. Maybe Roach will get something out of this priest. It's a relatively large town. I could use a hint. I'm counting on him. But time is of the essence. Please explore the area. We seek a tunnel or something similar. Beware of traps. They may have planted some. You're best suited to this. My men lack your skills. All right, I'll go. I'm relying on you, Witcher. Where are those axes? Move your asses! <laughs> You have just become the most titled Witcher in the world. And the wealthiest. I'll remind you of that when this is all over, sire. See, Vernon? Geralt succeeded. Lucky he did. The priest was downright discourteous and went off to meet his gods. I saw Scoia'tael on the river. Where? How many? What colors did they wear? Plow the elves. We'll tend to them later. The monastery awaits. His Majesty King Faultest of Temeria. Arthur Tales, erstwhile Count of Nesvelt. I signed your sentence. Yes, yet the Baroness saw fit to pardon me. An awkward situation, to be sure. Anais and Busi, where are they? The royal children. Don't test my patience, Tales, and I'll grant you a quick death. Confess, Faultest, before the gods and the people. Busi and Anais are the fruit of your loins. Bow to the gods and admit the truth. You may not have noticed, Tails, but I just took this town. Aided by murderers, sorcerers, and a mutant for whom nothing is holy. This is hallowed ground. You will not raise your hand against a servant of the gods. Where have you taken the children? The Solar. They're in the Solar. What is this? Blasphemy! Sorcerer's tricks! Holy man unharmed and the noble gets slapped. A win-win situation, if ever I've seen one. Damn! I've seen assaults go awry, but the dragon topples them all. Tops? Tops what? Witcher's trickery! <laughs> Stinking murderer. I remember Blavakin. Well... The dragon's back! I can't! Save my life again. Ask what you will of me, Witcher. Within reason, of course. I need to leave, sire. I'd like Triss Marigold to come with me. If she wants. Are you blind? She's enamored with you. You may leave, and none shall stop you. You have my word. <laughs> 